Hello drummers and other human beings, it's me Joe again and I'm back with another video about shuffles or what I know as a Texas shuffle which is a type of shuffle where we play with both hands together like this. It's also known as a two-handed shuffle but I always thought that sounds a bit rude. In today's video I'm going to show you a couple of variations to the right hand pattern. In the original uh, basic Texas shuffle, both hands are playing a shuffle. Now, uh, two very useful variations that we can add to that to develop the vocabulary a little bit and uh, allow for some nice variation to the sound that we get. Uh, the first one being just playing a swing. Now, if you don't know already, a swing is like a shuffle but with one of the notes missing. So instead of going one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four, I'm going to not play anything on the and after one and the and after three. So we get this. One and two and three and four and one and two and three, four and one and two and three and four and one two and three and four or dang dang da dang dang da dang dang da dang fifty five fifty five paint the brush fifty five you can verbalize that any way you like spang -lang, that's another one to get used to playing the swing with the right hand while we're playing a constant shuffle with the left hand we're going to play hands only at first remember we're going to basically be missing out the, the end of one and the end of three with the right hand and playing all the one and two and three and four and all of those notes with the left hand and we're not going to accent the snare drum at all to start with we're just going to try and get used to the flow of these two slightly different patterns here we go one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and four and one and two and three and four and now as with all these things just go really slow and steady to start with and let your body get comfortable with the movement and listen to yourself carefully. You're trying to play all the coincident notes in good sync. We don't want to have any flamming between the right and the left hand. So listen carefully and just be slow and relaxed. Next we can add the accent on the snare on the two and four. So we're going like this. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and four and one and two and three and four and one and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and three and four and one and two and three and four and Make sure that you don't accent the right hand. I did a couple of times there. Um, so when you're practicing playing this, you want to try and keep the right hand nice and even uh, and just accent only the left hand, which can be quite, quite challenging. But getting these two patterns together might take you a little time if you've not done something like this before. Once you've got the hands feeling good, you're accenting the stair nice and consistently, and you're playing a nice spang-a-lang swing pattern. Uh, the time has come to play the bass drum. We're going to play on the one, two, three and four and all four quarter notes like this. And we can add the hi-hat on two and four.
that's it. A Texas shuffle, right hand swing. Uh, work on it, slow and steady, uh, and I'm going to make a couple more videos with some other variations you can do on this groove. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to comment if you like this or if you'd like me to address any particular issues. Uh, hit the like button, all of that stuff, subscribe to the channel, and so on and so forth. And most importantly, go away and practice.